So uh, uh, what we was talking about? We was talking about the you feel me with the you feel me. Nah, I was just playing. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the yada yadas and the. No, uh-uh. no, nah, nah, nigga, you were saying um, you were saying your dad ain't mad at you for putting the business in the air. Yeah, as facts. As long as yeah. it's real. <laughs> you yeah. cold. You, you right though. <laughs> you ain't lying on me. Don't be. I mean, you put people business in there as long as it's, I mean you not. It ain't gossip if you just in regular conversation. You know what I'm saying? You out there trying, you just telling yeah. a story that affected you. Exactly. So you know, people, Pop's OG, so you know, he like shit. That's feel like game to me. You oh, mama. Because I mean? you know, sometimes when you holding like some demons and then somebody speak on your behalf, like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It's man, better. Man. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, nigga, yeah, he probably yeah, was a proud, fab, a proud father moment. We saw it with a different perspective as well, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. you did. Mm-hmm. So that was good. You was able to translate it to the people yeah. without him sounding harsh about it. Or exactly. why, why he did it. Because I said it, he didn't. But, but we, I made it sound harsh because I called her a bitch and all type of shit. Because I'm speaking from yeah, how it made you for how my dad young. talked to me about oh, okay. the situation. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I have no emotion to it. So I, I said, you made it salty. <laughs> no, no, I called her a bitch. Yeah, yeah. I, I let that be I, known. I, I ain't that. playing around with that. I didn't yeah, put it okay. out there like hot. that. But. <laughs> mm-hmm. but he was proud of me. <laughs> That's my son right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, of course I'm going to play that shit. Put it on there. Oh, mamas. You understand me? It, it's the Cali kickback. Yeah, man. It's your boy, Lewis Belt. You feel me? We got my dog, Jamal True Love. Right. You feel me in a bit? How you feeling? Why? Oh, man, I'm hanging in there, man. You know, chilling like a pair of slacks, man. You Ooh, okay, I mean? P. Pop yeah, your P. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. I'm just glad I'm, you I'm popped trying, your I'm P. Trying, I'm trying to That's what happens first. That's how we all, okay. All right, well, I'm just sitting back trying to learn how to act. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to not to be emotional and have a bitch have me overreact. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, P, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Shit. I get it, man. You already know. We got a special guest in the building, man. One of my playing partners, you understand me? A living legend, Shy Town in the building, D Ray Davis. Come thank on, let's Thank, you, thank you, brother. I appreciate D-Ray. it, man. On, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, my. I'm glad I you want to get through. down here, motherfucker. I know. It's been like four years. Now, I'll be building in my brain, so it'd be hard. In my mind, I feel like I. I'm, I'm there, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Especially mm-hmm. the places, and I consider, I learned this from um, years ago, I did a, a, a movie called A Sea Filler, and um, shout out to Dwayne Martin for putting me in that. And during the movie, I learned a lot, like on the acting side, but I learned more on the personal side. Is mm-hmm. I would get on him, like I'll be hitting him up, like I need this, I need that, because I thought we were real close and friends. Mm-hmm. And, and, and he said, hey D, he hit me one day and said, you me. You know, I know you good when I'm good. I know if you're really bad, I know, because you say I'm really bad. But as long as I'm good, you good. So I take care of all the bullshit first in my life yeah. before I get to me. Yeah. So I handle all my parents' bullshit. When you hit me up, I handle my daughters. I handle my 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 try to my bills, my my mind, my, what I'm trying to build, all, whatever creatively I could do. And in this business, this short term we have mm-hmm. in this um, show business, which it is the business, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I get to me. Then I go. You know what? I need to get my hair braided. You know I'm gonna get a haircut. Hit Lewis up. Yeah, you fit in the me category. Yeah, you don't fit in like that outside. You ain't one of the dudes. I'm like, let me put them fires out and this shit. It's like, all right, now I'm settled. I know you're good because we talk. And if it was bad, bad, you'd be like, yo, D, handle this. Or when we do have our conversations, when you get, you know, get your zone, when you want to have a conversation real quick, you're like, yo, hit me up. And I'm like, let me hit this because this is outside of the me part. The me part is what we talking about. This your shit for life. I, I feel like I'm, you know, I could come down here. I I, I know me and you's gonna make it work anytime. So. That's why it, it, no, it wasn't no my schedule was so busy. It was like, man, I, now I'm getting some me time. So this week I was like, I'm down to me, and I hit you. Yeah, I said, yo, man, what you doing when when your show this week? Yeah, because I'm down to me. That's, that's crazy because that's what we were just like talking about earlier, like you know, trying to figure out like you know. You gotta take put all the fires the bills. You lost your debit card, and yep. then you gotta connect it to you know the auto pays. You know doing all of that shit. You yep. know what I mean? Which it could be, you know, it could be testing. You know, uh, and it'd be the things that that only you could do because yeah. of how how we were raised. For one, we don't trust right. many people. Right. Yeah. We were taught. You know, we we've had people very close to us steal from us, take from us. Yeah. So it's a lot of times that we don't we don't want to delegate that workout because we we feel like we're giving up something way too personal, like your like. My car be messing up, and I'm like, I gotta go make this call. And we're so used to our car not working. I'm and I do, I do well in life, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. I still get embarrassed by my car not working. Right. So you want to go handle your bank statement by yourself, and these are things while while this is happening, somebody waving like, "What's up, D?" And you like, yeah. And they like, "Oh, that's a that's a weak ass nigga." I try to speak to D Ray, not knowing that end of the day, before we are any of this, and I keep saying this on stage lately, mm-hmm. we human. Yeah. yeah. Before any of this, before I'm D Ray the comic, before I'm anything else. It be things that bother me, and, and and one thing I love about Lewis is that he'll 
get to that first. When he see me, he be like, how you doing? Da 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 Whatever we discuss on the personal boost, da 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 Then we be like, da 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 Then they be like, now let's get to the business. Yeah. So he'll understand whatever emotion I'm having on stage, whether I want to do good, whether I want to do bad. If I don't want to talk to guys at night, he yeah. can pretty much read it. Like he, I, I, I don't give him, a, I don't got, I ain't got to give him a look no more. He just like, hey man, holler at me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, cause it take one to know one, and I feel like you one of the uh, most genuine people in this industry that um, I ran across. But before we had a relationship, you was one of the people that um, I didn't really have a likely like I, I wasn't feeling oh. you from afar you know what I'm saying I'm not and, and, and to protect myself man to this day mm-hmm. that's gonna always be my move yeah I am not like the average comic mm-hmm. I don't hang out of the comic spaces I don't gotta go and this is not no disrespect to nobody who loves the actual craft of comedy I didn't come into it how you did I did not see comedy and watch it. I did not grow up and say, man, I did not see nobody that was so dope made me want to do comedy. I was never inspired by nobody but the bread, the hustle, yeah. the, that's it. When I seen comedy, I seen me promoting. I didn't right. see me as being one of the greatest, which accidentally happened because right. mm-hmm. I was in the business of comedy and I, I had the gift of gab. So I was able to translate that to the stage. I was I didn't have to work on my art. I didn't have to work on my jump shot. I came with it. My three, I came with it, my rebound. Now my work ethics is something that's still goes in and out due to the fact I'm from a dope boy mentality of the, yeah. of getting how do I flip this joke yeah. flip this comedy rather than there's work to be done as well you know there's some hard hard working guys and because of that a, a lot of guys are further in their careers not than me but for, for, for where they want the fight to get mine was still coming it was still multiplying like the, the mind was still growing so I kept myself standoffish for a minute and for for a, a reason. It was like, if I let them in my house, uh-huh. I, if I don't let them in my house, I have no excuse but myself about my failure. Yeah. If I let nobody else around me mm-hmm. into this uh, this area I'm in, then I can't say he stole my joke. He did that. I I or he can't say I took something from him. Or oh, I don't owe him this. I had them some mentality. The, the least people, you, the less people you know, the less people you owe. Yeah, you know what, what? What was crazy, right? I've been uh, following your career since uh, 2002, barbershop, right? And and you was a standout character, right? I always wanted to get into film and stuff like that. And a lot of people, I was telling a, little, mm-hmm. a lot of motherfuckers, always be like, "Oh yeah, you gonna?" I, I feel like you got that D-Ray, you know, energy in in in, in film because like you'll pop up in here, pop up over there, mm-hmm. and pop up over there on some shit like that. Yeah, D-Ray, the king of drop, pop, man. Yeah. I'm mean, a king of cameos. Yeah, exactly. King of cameos. King of cameos. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna be in some. I've, I've watched TV, but you know, I've I've watched TV before and seen myself on six different channels at once. Then I've watched TV and not seen myself at all. But I love yeah. the gamble of it. I love the hustle. I love that it feels so Sam Jackson-ish that it's like Sam was everywhere. You know what I'm saying? From, yeah. And that's what I, that's what I liked about it. Like just like just talking. Not to comparing right myself now. to Sam. I'm, I'm, just, I'm on my way though, Sam. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm coming. But you got your. John Sam, yeah. said it. John yeah. told me keep working. That's all. But I'm saying as far as the want for the work and the want not minding being. I've turned down a lot of stuff. Yeah. No lie. I've, Why? Um, I wanted my. My vision to be my own in a lot of cases. Um, let's get into like I've turned down roles where I might had had to play another. They wanted me to not not like women in the in the yeah, team. Exactly. and I felt like I didn't carry enough masculinity around to rebound from it. Right, uh-huh. exactly. I feel like I'd get lost in it because they're like you got green eyes, you light skin already, and no matter what they say, that has that something perception. to do with it. No right. matter what they say, my. My persona, or, or if you see a dude being gangster all the time, that's why it's really funny if you see him play that way in a minute. But if you, I've, I had yet to explore what my true talents were, were to be confident enough yeah. mm-hmm. to get into that. You know what I'm saying? Or get yeah. into, play, outside of my, like playing a white guy. Any any of those, anything that I knew I wouldn't be be super good at a great or willing to do the work in, mm-hmm. I didn't really want to rock with it. And I'd be like, the things I talk about on stage, I've done the work, whether it been from pain where they've been through lived, where they've been through. These are my true stories, so I'm able to tell these stories from a place that no one else can. And if I were t- telling it from a woman's perspective or mm-hmm. someone else, I would want to get into the art of it. And I didn't have the time to get into the art, so I would have been disrespecting it. Yeah. Without even Damn. trying. Well, yeah, because you, you, yeah. you, you don't come off as like a bot. How you know from your 
from your career, like, uh, by all means necessary, I'm trying to get this up here on some shit like that. It's more so, like, you know, I'm going to pick my points, but now at the same time, I'm going to get that big joint, you know, when, when it comes, you know. But a lot of my, people don't my, see, like, your, your day-to-day, who you are on a regular. It ain't about Yeah, this. I would never throw it all on the table how I do. I'm not going to run up to a producer with a script. Those yeah. guys who do that got the craziest hearts. Right. I've been in a room with people and pitched. I've, I've out, actually yeah. out-talked my, talked myself out of a room before. I know that because I yeah. talk a lot. But my confidence would not waver. Yeah. If I'm going to leave this room, whether I told you about me or not, you're going to see me again. Yeah. No matter what. And you could try not to. But talent-wise, natural shit, I know what I'm good at. Yeah. I know I could shoot. It's like a dunker. No, he's going to dunk. Throw the ball. I'm going to catch. I'm going to catch the, sh- the, the, the what's, what's for me. My alley-oops, th- more than likely thrown from myself. Yeah, right. I still believe in me like that. Yeah. But I'm not going to go. It's a... It's a I'm not going to embarrass or take away from my character for an opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know. On mamas. Yeah, I mean, I, right. I think that's the definitely... I, I just had to, like, like calm myself this down. This is fake for people at home. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I saw I'm acting. So. Speak, yeah. Speaking of the smoking, people, people saying, uh, you know, because I'd have met you... Um, I, yeah, we met uh, some years ago, um, for sure. I don't... It's not gonna sound like a long time, but shit, I think we met like 2015 type shit, <laughs> and uh, you had a different energy about you. You know, what I'm saying I everybody, did. everybody yeah. in the industry know, you know, the the original D Ray and the D Ray right now. You know, right. and well, you like- you had a temper. I th- I, I'm not saying my temper has, has has left completely because I have a different passion. My temper is I moved it around. You know, I shifted the energies, but a lot of my tem- temperaments come from trying to show people stuff in the moments that I think they don't get. And I'm just going to sound weird, but mm-hmm. I've argued with people where I know I'm right. I've argued with geniuses where I know I'm right in this moment because I'm right, because it's right is right. Not about, right. we're talking about factual information and we're talking about statistics and stuff like that, then yeah, you might win, but in the actual moment. So I would always try to argue my points back then because I come from a place of uh, hood politics where it's like, yeah. we play these games. Uh-huh. I was always aggressive with my comedy. I always felt like, yo, I did better than whoever the, whoever went up. Whoever the hell went up, I'm better than that nigga anyway. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I, with the confidence that I had, that comes with a certain arrogance uh-huh. that gives off. But once again, that shows you I'm shielding myself. Mm-hmm. If I don't let 10 niggas at my table, I don't owe the, I, if I don't go to your table, then I'm not, you don't expect to go to my table. It should be a courtesy every time. Yeah. No matter times you come to my home, it should be a thank you. It's a presence to, to be home. around my presence. You understand yeah. me? It's a presence nah, to be no, in my presence. No, 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 but don't about? protect. Just protect your life. Before this shit was coming out, before social media and my mental health, I, I always wanted to protect my energy without knowing what the words was. Yeah. I knew I stopped one around me and what I stopped one around me. And people do that with me. Mm-hmm. If I come in the room, sometimes I bring a certain energy. I know them super lame ass regular niggas. I know your soul, Can't your money it. is the only thing that took you there. When I walk in the room, it's in, it's crazy. Yeah. Cause fact. broke or rich, people gonna treat me the same. Yeah. Yeah. When I walk in a room, my energy feels so rich yeah. that your account can't reach it. Yeah. That's not, just presence. It's not facts. My essence alone, and I feel like, and let's say I'm lying to myself, I feel it, I see it. Yeah. Anybody around like uh, it's it's more like the fuck because I, but I, I and the bad part is I would love for us all to be right there so mm-hmm. you'll understand me better. Yeah. I feel like if in in and the bad thing about comedy and the good and bad thing is that we 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 in it separately and we rarely bring each other or boost each other up. Me myself, I'm attracted to talent in comedy. I want to see some menu, uh, pause, cause, whatever yeah. the words. Are. I want to see. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> what again, yeah, we'll do that at the That's thug mention, man. It's the Kelly kickback. We'll say that part. Yeah, 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 yeah. The no, no, I thought, I thought they said. Uh, what was, was it? They said you can't say that. No homo pause. No shit. No, 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 no bromo. Whatever the hell it is. No bromo. No, none of it, but I'm saying, but the, the words itself, they'd call it shack attack too, because if it was a woman <laughs> sitting here, it would still sound just as bad. It's just, mm-hmm. it's just what where we at now, regardless. I just wanted to come across mm-hmm. all pla- all platforms. That's why I'm yeah. that's why only reason I would Oh yeah, no, I wanted, I wanted to be heard correctly. Yeah. That regardless of the fact of how they like I protecting yourself and your spirit is is your your choice. When I walk in a room, mm-hmm. I want all us to be lifted. I, I, I'm attracted to the talent, the driving people, the energy of people, and them wanting to get somewhere. No one's ever told me I'm gonna do this, and I did not believe them because I told people and motherfuckers didn't believe me, and I right. did it. So nobody around me. So I feel that energy, that might give me a different type of vibe towards you than someone who I feel like, 
if they do got it, they're not showing it. And if they not showing it, they don't want it. And if they don't want it, I don't want to be around nobody that don't want it. Yeah. Because yeah. I want it. And not because yeah. I just want it, because I need it. Yeah. Like, your, your reason for doing comedy, man, is different. I got, I'm feeding motherfuckers. So I can't just give shit away, including my energy, including my jokes, uh, uh, including uh. my... Ontario. <laughs> I'm on the way. Hey, check it out. August 13th at the Ontario Improv. Stop playing with me. I know y'all be at the mall out there. I want the whole IE to pull up. Uh, Pomona, bring y'all ghetto ass out too. I know how y'all fuck around in Pomona. So I'm being Ontario. IE, come see me. You understand me? I'm going to pop out like this. And when I pop out, I want to see y'all. Goddamn me. So get your tickets right now. Thank y'all. Love everybody. It's your boy, Louis Bell. I got balance tour. I'll see y'all in a minute. At what point, at what point, like, like, so, like, like I said, in 2002, you came out, you did your barbershop. At that point, you feel like, hold on, nigga, I'm about to be the nigga now and shit like that, right? It, it like, was, meaning, was it? the nigga meaning, like, I'm finna blow up? Yeah, I'm about to blow up, no, right? And I'm I've about had, to get the biggest shit I've and stuff had, like that. I've but, had moments like that about maybe about three, four times where you, where I thought it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But it never came from when I thought it. It yeah. always came when you did it. from out of Damn. fucking nowhere. Yeah. yeah, I'm the funniest motherfucker. People go back and forth. They can argue all day, whatever. We go argue. I'm, D, I'm funniest nigga to D, right? And in the mm -hmm. room, people are not going to say, if they want to say anything, I'm ass all that. They're not going to say I'm not funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you want to say I'm not funny, let's go up 15 minutes for 15 minutes for 15 minutes, unwritten shit, and see who can build a set within that. Time. I, I'm that kind of nigga. I'm going to take I, I seen my that shit, shit too. my Mom's. craft, so I want to <laughs> win. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to act like, like, what was those moments where you felt like well, the I'm moments blow I felt up? the moments I felt no, the moment I felt like I was gonna like barbershop was cool because I was the only dude I I, I started calling myself what I said a movie uh, I forgot what I said movie moves all the time hashtag yeah, movie, movie moves. moves but I never shit on nobody neither while I was happy yeah. so when like I was like I'm the shit and you're not because I always act like I was the shit exactly so if somebody was in a movie before me I still was like. I'm still D, D Ray, so yeah. it was the same build, but the times where my mind was, I was like, it's a rap. Uh, <laughs> probably the biggest time in my mind, I thought, I, mean, I thought that was a rap. The biggest time in my mind where I thought it was a rap was, I had been, um, I did jump in the broom. Yeah. Doing really well, and shout out to Tracy Edmonds, who all, all that, and, and um, I had done, um, imagine that kind of around the time. Can't remember what it was, movie of Eddie Murphy. It was like uh, 2007, 2006, something like that. Yeah, so the producers, uh, his name is, is a big producer. He's very cool, man, down-to-earth guy, man. Um, but he was he liked me and Imagine That, so they were getting ready to do. So I had done one movie. Didn't Imagine That, then I get, I was doing Hype Wise. I did Jump in the Broom, and then I did 21 Jump Street. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm there. I'm on the move, man. Yeah. Listen to the words. It's like jumping the broom, the 21 Jump Street, the jump, yeah. the jump money. Yeah. And that producer hit me up, and they're like, yo, we getting ready to do uh, G.I. Joe. And I'm like, what? Yeah. It's a rap. So no, I, now I'm on the Jump in the Broom red carpet with my 21 Jump Street haircut. Because uh -huh. I'm filming at that time. That show, I'm working, working. Yeah, I'm on yeah. the carpet you while I'm filming. Yeah. So I'm like, what's up? Like, yeah. what's up with here? Johnny Depp, what's moving? What's, up? what's wrong with everyone? Hopped out of the Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. Situated, by the way. It was I'm, yours? I'm no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm a driver. <laughs> He was clear. He oh, hopped out. out. That's all that matter, nigga. Now, pa now, past that, though, past that, though, uh, unfortunately, I've made beyond crazy Rose Rose money, but yeah. I am a giver. I'm a, I'm, I've gifted. I'm trying to figure out right now how to. I'm paying taxes on people money that probably don't even love me no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, I would feel like. But, but, once again, dog. I had everything a billionaire had without the cars, without the anything, the exactly. situation, the everything. I was, I was a beautiful nigga. I'm hood. I had this. You're fighting to be me every day. You you have to do something more and, and, and exciting today to get the attention I'm getting just for sitting on the couch showing. Facts. You know. Do you think that's why a lot of your problems came with other comedians? Like not problems, but Con like I was talking to Too Short. He was like, "Man, I love y'all together because D Ray, man, y'all are so similar, man. I seen D Ray beat a nigga ass at the gas station. I'm like, for real. But I know, but I'm like, I don't know, cause you know what I'm saying. But it's yeah. funny, cause no, them them situations had nothing to do. Once again, just want someone to learn in that moment that didn't want to learn uh -huh. in that moment. Um, but past all that, I thought I was getting the movie of GI Joe. I thought I was gonna be the lead, but my manager called me and he said, uh, I forgot what the name of the character was, but it ended up being um, The Rock. Yeah. And it's uh, Roadblock is the the character name, but he said the actual name of the the, the sergeant name, which I can't think of now. 
And I said, when he said the sergeant name, I said, that's Roblox. And he said, no, it's dog. He called me that Monday. You got it. It's you and The Rock. And I was like, me and The Rock? Mm. I said, who The Rock playing? It was like the sergeant's name. And I said, that's my character's that's okay. name. He said, no, you're, you're Roblox. I said, they the same. <laughs> it's the same person. This and man, I seen that shit, my stomach hurt. When I tell you when I was at that premiere, <laughs> And my agent, I'm gonna tell you, I was at, so I'm at the premiere, I'm gonna tell you, I'm at the premiere and I'm sitting there. The reason I thought I was close. The premiere started, my name's coming up, my agent leans to me, she gets a call. Hey, they said you're in the top two people. The, you're, you're the top, you're the top choice. And I'm like, I'm the top choice? I sat back like, I thought of all the niggas I wasn't gonna speak to no more. <laughs> I was like, Nigga made a list. <laughs> That's why I didn't have it, because he, he yeah. wanted to be evil to get his blessing. I'm gonna get blessed and I'm gonna shit on these niggas. I said not talk to him. I ain't said shit, but I definitely had to listen. I ain't got to do this shit no more. Yeah. But so that shit was funny, but um, it's, it's, if I if I'd have got it, I wouldn't be where I'm at now, because I wouldn't have been ready. Yeah, Rock was ready, and as you've seen from there, where his career went from that to being the sequel saving machine, to allowing me. To, I still did. I did uh, GI Joe Two though, which was pretty dope. I know yeah. I ended up no, I ended up doing that one. I did it. Yeah, I was in that yeah. one with him, and I was a little like, man, I gotta go do it. But me being in the scene with him alone was still. Mm-hmm. That's I, I, how you know nigga be working. Feel, out. Yeah, he, he, we, he we, like, we, oh, we, didn't, we didn't got that. the we didn't got the uh, <laughs> no, elevated <laughs> situation. I, I really wanted to get down. Uh, we just skipped some steps, you feel me? I, I really want to get down to the Chicago, the root. You know, because you very connected uh, to Chicago. You part of the culture out there. And one thing I noticed that um, a lot of comedians be from cities, but the city really don't embrace them. They claim cities that don't claim them. Right. And you're actually one of the comedians that the city actually claims. So how did that come? How did you, um, I know you hosted a room in, at, uh, in Chicago called Riddles. My, yep. Did you Smart start, um, like, because you love hosting, too. Love hosting. Did I that always start Chicago? No, nah, you said because of Chicago yes. being hosting? Yeah. Nah, Damon Williams being, um, like, probably one of the best hosts in the world. Like, if you ever see him, just go, go, go. He's, he was always improv, and I wanted, I wanted to be better than Damon. Mm-hmm. And then Damon said to me one day, he's only, as, he's only as great as the person he makes greater than him. Right. Mm. So I could never win anyway. Right. It's kind of like. Um, Denzel and Sidney Poitier. He was like, ah, damn, I can't, every time I think I catch you, you get me again. Mm-hmm. And hosting wise, he, um, so I just wanted to be better than Damon and be just fast. So I was, we would do games and get fast and get, so that's where that came from, just oh. off the cuff, just loving the uh, freedom of hosting. Oh, okay. Not being stuck into a set because sets bored me. To this day, mm-hmm. I've changed, I probably had six specials in my mind and changed them because it sounds like a a record to me. And then I've seen people years later doing a bit of that stand-up that I did from that set, and I'm like, oh, you watch, you thought I threw that away. And I'm like, no, nah, I should go break out the tape on this nigga and play him back to back, but I don't do that. Um, <laughs> How you go about when people steal your jokes? Because you one of the comedians I know that actually up front confronts a comedian and be like, hey, you know Well, I just don't want to be us realistically about that now. I really just don't want us to be doing the same bit at the same time. Right. So we need to make a decision right now. Do you feel like you got it from me? If you feel like you didn't, then I'm, but I believe though I'm good enough to have thought of it first, but because I, because I'm showing it in the like, in my play, like if this was basketball uh-huh. and me and you was both putting up threes and me and you was both standing on the side and it's like, who you going to pick to make the three? I think they point to me to make the joke mm. than you. But if someone's standing there and they go, D, I don't know, man. He's quick. I go, fuck. All right. Let it go. Yeah. Because I've also seen comedians where I'm like, this is brilliant. I've also seen comedians go up for the first time and say one joke. And I'm like, yo, where's he at? And he disappeared. I'm like, that shit was brilliant. I think it's not one to be uh, competing against myself or want the weird shit. Because now you can't really, now with the memes, uh-huh. They'll, they'll just take your bit, dog, oh, yeah. and run a whole joke. Or people will tell you, my joke that was on Netflix, so I'm like, the, the nigga joke with the dog, and yeah. people just ran with it. We paying homage. No, you're not, bro. Yeah, I'm in the Writers Guild. What are you talking about? Right. You're not paying homage. You have to say my name. So why is it, by, why is it, by, why is it important, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause well, it's, it, it's how we eat. It's how we eat. It's your book. It's your uh, it's your life. If something's, so, if something's a broad subject, you can't own that. But people are actually stealing your personality and who you are. Your, I, I, I don't trip as much as swag because swag is music. And my swag is, man, remixed. I see it all the time. I don't say nothing. But the people that do do it, mm-hmm. that know they do it, mm-hmm. have have said something to me, like, on a level. Not that they're doing me, but that they, like, I fuck with you, D, right? And so I don't feel bad. I feel complimented. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm learning how to receive 
like you know because a lot of people do you and act and try to be you in front of you and act like nah you, like, nah nigga nah. hold on man. I, I, yeah, I can see who act like no, I can sit here and name who all act like who include myself in what moments and I can tell what jokes and what moves people make because initially I come from a, a class I come from a class where we watch, we had some great comments though you gotta remember man I, I saw Corey Holcomb mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying there would be no courage without seeing Corey Holcomb and TK Kirkland for me to say bitch mm. I wouldn't have had and, and Corey instilled it like because he knew I, at the time how I was feeling. That's the word I needed to use. Yeah. So he's like, what the fuck you doing? Tell, tell, nigga, tell, tell him about that bitch. And it was like, okay, <laughs> good coaching. The Damons, I wouldn't be who I am when move how I move. Um, Michael Callier, my host. Not See, Damon is a host, but he Damon's all, Damon all over. Damon can move. Damon move with the mic. Uh-huh. But there's, a, there's a, a almost like a defense to it, a boxing style to it. Yeah. Where you got the dude who's like a dude in the uh, the Kumata, what is it called that that and that's Michael Kalia. Yeah, that's Michael Kalia. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, you no, know, if they're great, it's like Michael Jordan watching Dr. J. You're gonna pick up on some moves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if I go up there and I say I'm ball headed and my wife left me, I'm being Damon. If I if I you know when someone's being someone, you know, I mean, you know, but I know. See, swag is something that's different because I was the f- the first guy doing that. I was the first rapper slash type. My swag wasn't no. I'm gonna have chicks that look like this. I'm yeah. gonna have this that look like that. My flyers gonna be everywhere. I was the first dude promoting the way I was in Chicago, like a rapper, to the point where people walking me like, "You've been the." I was promoting Sundays, and people it, walk it, up to me and say, "Yo, you a comedian?" I was telling this girl, I was a comedian. This dude walked up, "You a comedian?" I was like, "Yeah." This in a subway, and he goes, "You should do a." Uh, uh, this dude named D Ray Spot to me, and that's when I knew <laughs> that was I was big. My name was bigger than myself. You know, I would get stickers made. I was walking around. I wouldn't buy pants unless they had pockets because I wanted flyers in every pocket. Mm-hmm. I would go to sleep at night now because I moved from the other money. Yeah, I would go to sleep at night. And something's gonna sound weird. I would smell the flyers. Huh? I was sitting count. That do sound weird. I was smelling like this. <laughs> my, this my money, fresh cut, mm. and I would count every flyer like it was money. I'd be like, every time I get somebody that's that crack, one, two, three, four, five. I would sit not all the flyers, but like I was in that vibe. Of yeah, it. I feel you. Was, shirts, shirts was like sold, that for me. Sold. The best flyers yeah. on, to me was on the ground. No better promotion than some somebody got to step around. So I never got offended. My friend Larry get mad. He want to punch niggas in the back of the head. They throw the flyer on the ground. I'm like let people see that shit. Yeah. Then, then what I do when people weren't doing it. Double sided flyers, yep. double sided glossy flyers. Yeah, mm. comics wasn't doing it. Yeah, mm. the first. Yeah. Damn. Find a flyer before it. Go ahead. The only thing I would say that that Damon really like gay, like Damon when he handed me those flyers because he was promoting House of Blues. Mm. I don't think he know what he did that day because he said if I pass out enough flyers, I get to perform. Then he put my picture on the flyer, and that was it. I never want to see nothing else ever. Damn, that's some shit. Yeah, I I always wanted to tell you on record, you know, like you know, we always talk, you know, real life type shit. But it's like, um, you know, I'm very thankful for you, um, because you play a big part of um, the growth, the growth I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, you. You done came a long way. You done matured, and then I be fighting these little demons and shit because I be I feel like you know <laughs> the D-Ray walk, know. They walked up to me. I'm, I'm minding my business, by the way. <laughs> Probably barely met him. This girl is praising me, by the way. A young lady's like da da da, and he goes, "Why you want this old nigga?" Something to the level of that. <laughs> and I said, oh, that probably sounded old saying it, hold. <laughs> but but D Ray being in because a lot of people don't know like how we even, you know, got locked in. A lot of people think because you know D Ray a fly nigga, you know, he confident, he funny, all that shit. And I think a lot of people think we connected on some cuss, yeah. you know, on some arrogant, funny shit. But it's like we really got connected on some like, nigga. Yeah, on the corner. Yeah. On the corner into it. Then yeah. we got to that Simba. <laughs> Straight into So now me yeah, and Simba. That we is crazy. To some but he, this nigga, oh, hey, this nigga also told Simba we got to it because Simba yeah. already had a little bit of. Yeah, I said, Simba I know, already I said, like I know you told your brother, <laughs> motherfucker. But, but the energy, um, I like, like we talked about earlier, correcting people. Yeah. Yeah. We had a conversation. People was around the way it sounded. It wasn't the way it was. We was able to correct each other. Felt better. It wasn't right away that it clicked either because I still needed to see him comedically. Exactly. Yeah, popping that shit. Yeah, you popping that shit. Anybody that pop that shit, any comic out there knows I love popping that shit. Me and my mm-hmm. brother brothers pop shit all the time. Gary Owen, Michael Blackson, them dudes. In, in my mind, you know, these are my brother brothers. I'm gonna pop shit about comedy. I like to treat it like sports, so I want to see him play. And he played, 
and I wanted to see how it was. And the vibe was hitting. And I remember this girl was with me, and I was like, "Yo, what you think about him, like hosting? Like, how you like he felt like he hosting?" And she was like, "He not hosting." And I was like, yep. "Yeah, like she already thought that he already had the job." Damn, you was host, you was doing shit. He's not hosting. And I was like, "Yeah." And I told Sue and everybody first, and then Coco. Remember, she was like, "Cause Coco against if anything ain't funny, Coco's be like, oh, this was because she's seen every fucking joke." And now she's not dissing no comments, but certain shit make her laugh. Don't. Mm. But she saw it. She was like, "I see why you did. I see why why this was the choice." Yeah, cause I didn't I didn't know the independent side yeah, of Pete. you. Uh, I didn't know the independent side of you that much. Um, I was I was talking to uh, um, I was talking to Jeru. Of somebody, uh, you know, just chopping game, and I was just telling my what I got going on. And um, at the time, I didn't even know your situation, you know what I'm saying? And they like, oh, I'm telling like, yeah, you know, I put together my own shit. And I remember that was a, a conversation we had when we didn't know each other. He was like, nigga, I put my own shit together in Chicago. Like, what are you yeah. saying? I'm like, nigga, I put my own shit together in Oakland. Like, what the fuck yeah. is you saying? Like, yeah, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. And it was just like, it was just like, I understood. I'm like, oh shit, we bumping head because we don't know each other. We kind of very similar yeah. type. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Same shit. So yeah, I'm like, man, damn, no. D-Ray really a a a real independent stand up stand up guy. I'm thinking you was like a, a Hollywood nigga. Well, I don't not want to play the game because or not be in it because it. I I've been in enough films where I wasn't talking like this before. I probably couldn't even have translated what I re- or, or really said what I want to say had I not been around learning in Hollywood as well. Right. But, but I never not, I want to be the connect, the liaison between telling someone from Hollywood, because niggas didn't have to break down the walls the way I did when I got here. Yeah. Had a lot of things to fight, and I didn't have that, I didn't have a shtick, I didn't have nothing for me hosting improv. I, 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 I try to get what's the words used now, fuck mm-hmm. it. I Chicago bully my way onto the improv. They wasn't letting me up. Uh-huh. I had dope boys in the back trying to pay Spike to put me up. He told me no the first week, and I was like, I'm gonna get back. Mm-hmm. I wasn't discovered that, you know what I'm saying? I got up and then I was handling myself and then they let me host one time because my manager, I, I signed with the man, right manager. He was the owner of the improv. So I was like, this is the best move to make at the time. Oh yeah, that wow. makes sense. They make the move and then I started saying, you should see me host, I host the room. I'm the rawest host in the fucking world. Let me host a Monday. And then on that Monday, I went and got flowers made that said D-Ray Davis every Monday. Damn. Uh-huh. That's crazy. And she called me and she said, this ain't the way we do things, D-Ray. And uh, we had a conversation, and she's like, I'm gonna give you a try. She's very, Aaron is, was a very big instrumental part of me being in the improvs too. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I got strong at, honed the craft, and honed, and if I didn't have that confidence, I couldn't have stayed there. Uh-huh. If I wasn't that asshole, and had to, but the, the, the thing people don't see is that, a lot of times, you think I'm being an asshole to you, I'm really being an asshole to myself because I'm applying so much pressure to myself. Mm-hmm. If I talk shit about me being funny, then I'm not funny, I fail. So if I'm if I walk in that bitch like I'm D-Ray fucking Davis, when mm-hmm. you see me go up and I'm about to shoot these fucking threes, or me have a conversation about a joke I should do, mm-hmm. then I get up there and feel feel like that joke might not rock. Fuck that. I'm not finna lose tonight. And I said I'm fucking D-Ray Davis. Yeah. Ain't nobody finna leave here. They can be like, I bump, I try to speak to him. He said, fuck you. But this girl tried to talk to me, it's cause I'm this that I look like this, he wanna talk to me. This nigga, I was gonna holler at the nigga, he acted funny. Yeah. Was he funny? Yeah. He was funny. Funny than a motherfucker. Right. That's why you want to talk to they me. They were still entertained. Damn. And sometimes I can't. And sometimes you're talking to me and you sit. Now you know me, so you know yeah. I zone the fuck out. Yep. With or without weed, dog. I loot. I literally be like, I and I. There's nothing. I, I don't know. I don't want to take no medication for it because who knows how that's gonna affect my comedy. You take that shit yeah, away because that's the very thing that keeps me fucking. You know. That's another thing. Like so, like you know, in the black community, a lot of times. Uh, we instantly diagnose as like ADD and shit like that, right? Which so, are my initials. Uh, <laughs> Antoine D. Ray Davis. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. But like, so so I was like diagnosed hella young as ADD, but right, but they try to put a nigga on Ritalin. I'm like, nah, man, you trying to make me just focus on school. But now my, my thought process is way more faster, you know, doing all the other shit that I want to do in general. But... Understand that I do take Adderall at times, right? Where now I could actually focus on uh, co- compartmentalize some of this shit or whatever. That maybe. may I get so, that, and that's so, what I guess what this does. Yeah, exactly. That's what th- that. So that's what that does. Cause you, you see, you seem like a talkative motherfucker. I'm a talkative motherfucker. I know this nigga is too on some shit. You know what I mean? But but also you around. If, if, if it, like you hustle, you around, and which is part of it as well. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You come from nothing. Mm-hmm. Everybody trying to get a conversation in around you. You gotta be aggressive to get in your words. If you had a mama like my mama, she beat the shit out of you, you gotta explain yourself real fast. You yeah, real quick. If you're around women that's been around line line niggas, you gotta talk faster than the average nigga to get the conversation in. It takes the average nigga four or five seconds. Facts. And you gotta be a salesman, which we are, because we only sell in ourselves, because if we didn't do it, nobody wouldn't do it for us, because they believe that we already here, or they believe we already got that. Mm-hmm. I'm consistently selling myself. Right. I'm consistently trying to convince people something that they should see that they don't wanna see, because I'm saying you should see it. Right. Damn. So no matter what, no matter what, that that's gonna be part of your personality. Yeah, <coughs> if that's who you are, good part. So we don't just speak for ourselves. You also could see two, a young boy into it with the police who can't speak for himself. You gonna talk faster than he can. Obviously, let him go. Let him go. You know how you beat him up. Let little shorties go. Hey, y'all niggas, gotta kill each other. We have that power too. Yeah. We just applying it in different areas right now. So without it, this without this superpower, a lot of the world. I mean, people. You see people do it. Politicians do it. Uh, preachers do it. Yeah, I'm not knocking the Lord nor trying to be blasphemous, but if we decided in this room we wanted to become preachers, yeah, we could. Stop us. Yeah, we have the conversation, right. and, and the will, and that's not just comedy. Comedy, t- 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 this is something that we're born with. You know what I'm saying? So, right. hey, what's happening? It's your boy Lewis Belt. August 20th. Get your tickets right now. Lewis Belt will be in St. Louis. Check it out, man. Chingy, Nelly, all you niggas pull up, man. I don't know if y'all still beefing. I don't know what y'all got going out there. All the women with brown booty holes, it's still good. Just pull up on me, you understand me? Uh, I don't know, this is my first time out there. I'm just excited, man. I just, just come to the show, I can't wait to see y'all. Where you feel like the state of comedy is at? Like, how you feel about uh, where it's going stand-up comedy-wise? Because we got a lot of influences, social media influences. Yeah, but we fighting back, man. We also, I mean, we got we got that, but we got the guys who are really trying to do it. Like, Batch really work on his craft. Mm. I got to respect that he work on his craft. We got the people that, that could flow both planes. Carlos, who plays within Twitter, not so much Instagram, plays within the Twitter shit. You, know, you got to, uh, because back in the day, man, everything, no matter how much you try to stop it and slow it down, they were saying this about, uh, actors when, when the radio when, when people just were singing and then the video came out you know what I'm saying uh-huh. like then the video came out then the more, no more radio star then, uh-huh. then the movie came out then the video like if it weren't for that th- those platforms you wouldn't be here right now so Thanks. it's important that we at least embrace them because we definitely need them because that's where the world is going now as far as theft of content and shit like that. I definitely have an issue with original content. If I post a meme and you say it's yours, mm-hmm. hit me, I'll tag your name. Mm. I'll be like, yo, this is his, this is his words. Until somebody says it's not, somebody has to come. Yeah, because you really but care as far as about like, the craft. I feel like I didn't I didn't really know that about you until I learned to. The craft. I just was funny, but the craft itself and listening to the rooms and stuff like that. And I feel like that's the thing. Comedians phase I'm I going to right read now. the book. With anything else, you have to be I say this with the police, anything else, you have to be fully fucking educated. Just be educated. That's yeah. it. I mean that to the rap world, everybody. Else. Don't just be mean saying, I don't know who this rapper is and uh-huh. fuck that person. It, like, I don't know what that is. Like, no, nah, if someone says it to you, it must mean something. At least take that moment to say, you know what? I'll check it out. But it's not a formal right. way to learn how to educate yourself in, like, the entertainment space. So I feel like everybody learned different things. Like, what, what is your way? How, how did you educate yourself to be like, all right, this... This is this is how I'm supposed to go about the craft, the comedy, the process for me. Well, I didn't stray away from the fundamentals. Uh-huh. I was like, fundamental. Is, the fundamentals are very important. Being in love with a craft or something is you just like the way it looks. It's like people who love art, and I just happened to be in love with something I was doing, mm-hmm. which don't happen all the time. Because I had seen all the pain from it. I had made a decision. I had had... I remember I left, like I said, I left the hospital with my wife to go perform on a Sunday night. You know what I'm saying? Back then. Yeah. And I cheated on her with the craft. I cheated on a lot of stuff with the craft. So if I put all this effort into who she is, I better fucking love her now. Now I can't just love her. I have to be around all the time. Fast. Now if she's upset with me comedically, comedy being that, I have to to embrace her. I have to talk to her. I have to see why she's feeling the way she's feeling. Why is the game going the way it's going? Are you upset with the, do I need to write harder? Do I need to write less? Do I need to, you know, invest more into the youth in comedy? Do we need to go back to slapstick? What makes it a comfortable relationship between me and comedy so we can keep this marriage going? Because 
the relationship it can't end but can't leave neither one we can't leave each other yeah a minute so that's what keeps me pretty much grounded looking at the craft of comedy the craft the art you know what i'm saying damn if you look carefully enough at craft art is in it damn Thanks. that's that's the <laughs> shit in that even the that, letters yeah <laughs> yeah no nah, that that go crazy for sure and that acting shit that's something totally different because it's like man you uh you being in snowfall man at this point everybody calling you peaches shit they yeah, that shit fun man <laughs> That shit was a that shit was a journey. I enjoyed myself. Did you think life. that role was gonna be that big? Cause that's a big ass role. Yeah. I never think about it while I'm in it, man. It's hard for me because I just don't want to get too comfortable in anything, which kills my celebrations a lot of times. So I'll be like, oh man, I got the number one show. And then they'd be like, Yeah, what's tomorrow? Right. I just ask myself the same questions that everybody else asking because um <laughs> Acting, being the the woman I'm pretty much cheating with on comedy, right? Mm. It's like, yeah, she a bad bitch, I, right, you know what I'm saying? But nigga, she ain't like comedy, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. that, it give you that vibe. You ain't paying like home, so what I'm supposed to do? Um, but I've definitely taken the craft, uh, the the acting more seriously, being out of which I was surrounded by people who ate it, breathed it, needed it, you know, actors. Yeah. They act, man. So I get to act and then go express myself on stage. Or even talk about the set. I'll talk about anything. But that's they have just that. You know, yeah, exactly. Get home, yeah. can maybe express themselves to there. But there's no like real like acting place where they all go hang out. Besides, like like where like well, what what we have to be able to talk to each other. So I'm like, if they can take it this serious and they don't have no outlet, I need to take it just as serious, at least around them, while I'm being a supportive member of this situation. Yeah, and you know, for sure. that, that's. That's literally how I be, like, so I be acting and stuff like that, and I try comedy, too, because <laughs> I don't have a, a place to express all of this. Yeah, and, man. And, and Ain't as, no motherfucking. As an actor on some shit, you know what how I mean? How many times you performed as a comedian? It was that one time? Just that one time. Ah! You're a comic, huh? Yeah, he comic, thought it was but... easy. Not, he went up there with that big-ass smile and had nothing to say. Where, where? Uh, was I'm you there? Yeah, yep. It was I'm, it was at my night in Oakland. Do too much comedy. I went night. to learn how to like you know I'm like on a day to day. Yeah, I could be funny or some shit. Lou always tell me like nigga, you supposed to put that shit on stage. He put his hands in his back pocket, like put that. his head down the way nigga. Yeah, so no, but, but I wrote a script. Right? Like, yeah. You wrote? I, I, I wrote a script, right? I, like it was you know a couple jokes I knew I was gonna lead into, uh, but it was a hard crowd. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was tough. a tough ass crowd, and it's like all these motherfuckers know who I am, shit like that. They're like, oh yeah, who this ten milli milli nigga yeah. think that he doing comedy, nigga? You're not funny or yeah. whatever. And I kind of like got nervous up there on some shit. That light like, hit different, huh? And then and then Lou told me he said, man, you know, it's 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 one thing of being you know day to day kind of funny than being up on that stage funny. And then I had to sit back and you know reevaluate, like fuck, man, I don't think I can necessarily get up on that stage. I'm good in front of the camera, you know, and around people. Yeah. And shit like that, but like that—that's a you know. When did you uh you know? Or uh, was it ever a period like getting into stand up comedy where it's like you knew you you brushed through that uh, that threshold? Nope. It come natural. It come natural. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I, hear, I hear comedians say all the time like, "Yo, every comic gets booed. It's never happened. And if you have the footage, give it to me." The only the only time I remember where the crowd was as hard as it could be is my first night at the improv. It was all white people. It was hard, but still never oh, no yeah. boo. Still laughing. Yeah. White people ain't going to boo you. They just going to be but quiet. Don't, but don't know how to laugh at mama being on crack jokes, which now everybody has. Y'all welcome. Right. Um, <laughs> Y'all welcome, motherfuckers. Um, it, but it, it, it's the th I never, and then at the, uh, the Madison, Madison Square Garden, I was opening up for Kanye's uh, tour. Uh -huh. And, uh, when I opened it, I went in the middle because some act didn't come for some reason and he let me do some dates. And there was no backdrop, no nothing. I was in between, I think, Nerd and uh, Lupe Fi Fiasco and then Nerd was going after that. And they was ready to see them and they did not want to hear none of that. They was like, the hell wrong with you? <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Then I went to the the ladies in the building, run, run, run it. New York in the building, all that shit. So I was like, I'm still not going to get booed, nigga. We still going to win. Yeah, he jumped out of it. And then, uh, <laughs> oh, wait, there was three. Third time was I was opening up for uh, the tour, uh, Red Man and Method Man Blackout Tour in Chicago. And I probably had 11 minutes of comedy. And them niggas was about an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was up there like, what you drinking? <laughs> I was into, it became a. a, a uh, uh, oh, like so you had to go style. longer. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, I was shit. so happy when I seen him. I was so happy when I seen him come. I was like, thank God. That was a wild night, man. Damn. One of them niggas threw a bottle of Hennessy into the crowd. And I know nobody caught it with their hands. 
Which you feel like, like is the toughest the city you, you performed in? I'm not so, it don't be the toughest city. I've had just crazy moments. I, I drove, um, I got $300 to drive from Chicago down to Haydai, Missouri. And I was in Haydai, Haydai, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And um, they had dancing and stuff going on, no stage. And the DJ was like, Coming to the stage right now, stop dancing, stop dancing, stop dancing. We gonna do some comedy. <laughs> and I got up there and I was about seven minutes of hell. I probably made it to 15 minutes, got paid, but they did not want to hear none of that. They want to get back to their wings and dancing. I've had some rough moments. Uh, uh, Davenport, Iowa, I was down there one time, did a spot called The Runway. And I didn't know the promoter's wife was there, whatever, and the crowd was being too rowdy, so I started roasting this lady in front, and it was a promoter, promoter's <laughs> wife. <laughs> I said something to the fact that when we done in here, you so dirty, they're going to turn you upside down and mop the floor with you or something like that. <laughs> and the DJ was like, man, fuck this nigga. Yeah. And like, and the, it was literally a runway. So that means I had to jog all the way back. So I remember just yelling out my boy's name who drove me. I was like, Larry! <laughs> Low, let's go! Low! <laughs> I ran to the back. And when I ran to the back, I seen the nigga start coming on stage to get me. And all I heard was the DJ said, that's how the fuck we do it in that point. And he played the Benjamins. And I what? jumped the con, dipped. Um, what's some other amazing times? Anybody ever uh, try to fight you? Yeah, they always lost that. You had to fight somebody <laughs> after a show that was yeah, in the crowd? I, mean, I, I fought in the battle. I was, I was suspended. So I calm you now. I was suspended from the improvs for like two years for fighting in the bathroom. And I was suspended from the improvs for, um, the, me and a manager had an incident a long time ago, which he what? prompted. So... And, and that was because of suspended. what you were saying on stage? Nah, that wasn't because of that. The mm -hmm. manager was because of our seating situation. You know how I'm on about my seating yeah, in our area? So I just said, my young lady sitting there, and he had somebody sitting there. And I said, could you move? And he was like, <laughs> he went to say, ain't nobody scared of you for no reason. I'm like, yeah, I, like hold on. I'm like, I asked you to be, dog. I'm just saying, please. You, you, I was think, you, you, you think you always been on edge because you light skin with green eyes? Nah, I wasn't, no, but just listen to the conversation, though. You can hear it and know. And when I'm wrong, people mm -hmm. tell me I'm wrong, dog. Uh-huh. When I'm wrong, people say I'm wrong. And no matter what my emotions are, I got to take that into consideration that someone yeah. else observed me being wrong, mm -hmm. especially with somebody that rock with you. And I wasn't wrong. Everybody around was like, yo. Oh, okay. Then he invited me outside. Nobody scared you? I was like, cool, man. He's like, come outside. And I was like, the manager? All right. I ain't telling no That was a long time. Man. Mamas, nigga. <laughs> we ended up being all right, man. He ended up book was wild. I don't know if you're going to see this or not, but he ended up booking me on a, um, the, a show. I ain't going to say what show, what yeah. name, but he booked me on a show. After we talked, but it was it was wild that they suspended me like that. And I was I, I showed up that Monday and they gave me that paper. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, but for the most part, man, mm -hmm. not really challenged because I learned also our, in our art, which I try to teach. I don't know when to I'm gonna sit down and actually write it all out, but we have to be. I've always been apologetic in them, whether it be a straight on apology uh -huh. or between the lines. Yeah, in between lines. So it's so always like da 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 da, but you a fly ass nigga. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah. I be trying to tell you that too. Yeah, like, da, yeah. Da, da, da. yeah. <laughs> because we are in, we empowered with the mic. Mm -hmm. Now there have been times I put the mic down and just roasted. Like you want me to show you how good I am, but even in the moments I'm still winning because the echo is here. Right. The, the spotlight is here. Yeah, it's on me. So yeah. I have a mic without having one. Yeah. So it's. So I know I'm gonna win that. So yeah, still, I usually try to compliment somebody first, and then I'm gonna roast yeah. your ass. So if you watching this, if well, I, that's if absolutely I horrible. You, <laughs> I'm gonna compliment you. Cause that would mean your motherfucking mean it at all, nigga. <laughs> I never listen to your compliments again. I know you. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna compliment you and roast you, nigga. That sound like what every black person do. They be like, you know, he in school. He done selling them drugs. Though. That sound yeah. like. That sound like what every black person did. Yeah, I'll be the I'm crowd sorry, see you, boy. You looking clean as a motherfucker, but boy, them ears, boy. <laughs> no, no, you not. <laughs> I remember when you That's talk, a nice car. They about to shoot that bitch the, up. To the one girl about the uh, the oxtails. Oh, mama. The oxtails. It was funny as hell because you, you're using the comedy, you know what I mean? You know, to get on her about the oxtails, but compliment her. I bet you some oxtails oh. good as hell. Huh? Oh, mama. And she's like, hell, y'all gonna need some of them oxtails yeah, after this. Yeah, make her feel good about it, though, yeah, mama. Yeah. But we can't know, give them too much sauce. They're going to be stealing our motherfucking... <laughs> I don't know how funny this going to be on, on camera, but uh, mm -hmm. this comedian from Chicago, mm -hmm. and him and I would do this thing, but I think I'm pretty sure he thought of it because he's crazy. His name Marlon. You know Marlon Mitchell? Mitchell. Marlon Mitchell is hilarious. Marlon Mitchell would compliment you the whole time. He mm -hmm. never said nothing bad about your shit, but you knew he was talking about you. 
Mm. It was so fucking dope. Like you'd be like, like you be like, I see you, baby, got the Raider patch. I see you. You been up there? You been never been to Vegas? It's okay. Like, but it's real. Yeah, but it's but funny. Like, I see you, man. Look at your shoe, boy. <laughs> yeah. You out here doing this so big? And, <laughs> and it would be some of my favorite moments in the club because he would do that, and I would just man. That's we had fun. Chicago was fun. Yeah. Speaking of Chicago, are you related to that. Anthony Davis? Cause I am not. Your last <laughs> name is Davis, and you I look just y'all looking like. Nah, man. That, you sure? That man's a young man for one. But we uh ran into each other in the airport years ago. I think it was right when he got drafted. And we took a picture, and I was like, it was you know. Plus, both being from the Chicago area, yeah. Anthony. My first name Antoine. I ain't, I ain't the nigga daddy. I ain't his, oh, you could be that nigga. Nah, daddy, I, ain't his huh? uncle, I ain't his uncle, and I ain't the nigga uncle cousin. None of that nigga. You wouldn't claim that's a bag right there. That nigga. I, and y'all, and I think y'all niggas definitely look. Y'all looking at two light skinned niggas with braids because that uh, nigga do not look like uh, me. We do not uh, look alike, nigga. I was gonna say too, like I got green eyes, nigga. Y'all put I'm, a comment. Y'all think D Ray look like Anthony Davis? <laughs> look out I here. think that nigga look like Anthony Davis. I'm gonna come find y'all. Put your ad name with your address. <laughs> your motherfucker. Come. They gonna be like minus the brow. <laughs> I'm gonna put brows on all y'all houses. Oh, I'm gonna airbrush brow with spray paint brows on all y'all cribs. Yeah, shit. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's some shit. Y'all always wanted to ask. I need to find. I think nobody asked you that. <laughs> nah, we ain't related, man. Davis. Every now and then, I, I tweet yes. Just because I like, I'm a mystery nigga. I'm mysterious, so I don't. You wouldn't be mad if you found out that was your son or something? You'd be like, damn. Yeah, I'd be mad. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, and no disrespect at all, but I know I ain't been, hey, with, look, no, I ain't been, been with no eight foot woman. Hey, look. Where that nigga jeans come from? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, yeah, nigga be mad. And I, I, I could have been I ain't that much. I, 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 ain't, look, I, I just found out. I would have still had to be like 10 or 15, maybe. <laughs> It could yeah. that could have still happened. Yeah. Agreed. Where I was, the way I was fucking. You're right. You know what I mean? Oh, mama. Damn, it's funny as hell. No, nah, man. I'm glad you came through, man. You just. I'm do it again, man. We just this is an intro to it. This is. Oh, mama. So people know that we associated. You know what I'm saying? And deep, deep. We be you know, talking so much in real make, life. Make like, it, it be happen. awkward to talk to a nigga on camera. It's like it's awkward to even interview. Yeah, him, because nigga. a lot of stuff. We, <laughs> a lot of stuff is we. If we ever do, we need the stuff we talk about. We want to be teaching it, but when we first saying it, we upset. So we wondering why them niggas acting like that. But we want to be teaching them, not just, you know what I'm saying, being like, why you act like that? But figure it out. Help each other. Maybe the niggas, bitches, they can't, the niggas can't get the situations we get. They not going to feel, feel like you earn where you at because they'll never see what I see. But motherfuckers also didn't think that LeBron was going to be where he's at or stuff like that. It's what I do. I seen it with Matt Wright, a lot of Jackie Long, Nick Cannon. And they went. I wasn't like super crazy, just support enough to know you know great when you see it. You know who you want to pass the ball to. You know who gonna be fly and who gonna keep shit comfortable, and who willing to learn. Yeah. And he got a lot to learn on the business side of things. But I wouldn't want to fuck. He so wouldn't want to fuck it up. Where he's going, I want to fuck it up. And he's like, it's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen on this time. Yeah. I love dropping the jewels on it though. Yeah. Young pimping like yo nigga da 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 da, but. Forcing him to do it while he's being creative is just obscure, and it's not what the fuck obscure. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking word even mean right there. Yeah, obscure. I was gonna say obscure. I didn't know that obscure word. Obscure shit, obscure. nigga. Yeah. But I just. <laughs> but it would be. I feel like my craft was unorthodox, and it worked. Business wise, it's gonna be important. So I just dropped the jewels because I could see the other side of it, and when it occurs, yeah. I'm able to catch it and be like. That dude gonna be important because it is. This dude gonna be important because of that. And hope he sees the importance in the business side of shit rather than the personality because they human. Right. Man, if you stay mm -hmm. mad at niggas mm -hmm. when they don't act like you, that means you expected another you, nigga. And if that happens, how are you gonna be the great one? Facts. I hate getting mad. I used to get mad at people doing comedy or do jokes. Why you do it like that? And I'd be like, he can't. Well, I'm gonna be upset with him because he's not me in that essence. Like I'm sure he does something great, but in this moment, in that thing, why would I be upset? You can't duplicate me, man. I I, I can't and I can't look for me. My pops been on me about that. My pops stop being mad at niggas because they ain't you. Right. Can't do it, man. It'd be hard too because you try to explain to him like, yo, man, you don't see why. Okay, I gave you I gave you a gallon of juice, right? Yeah. You don't see why you come back with two gallons of juice. You should give me a gallon back. <laughs> Right. Yeah. You don't yeah. feel like I should be the first. You be like, man, I got two gallons now. Nah, you don't yeah. feel like you should be like a Let nigga. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you give it to me, I'll give it back to you because I don't want it or need it. Yeah. But at least trinkle it down. 
Trinkle it back. The courtesy, yeah. my nigga. Yeah. Courtesy. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers don't be having that type of that criminal type of courtesy, nigga. It's criminal courtesy. Yeah, and, you know, and I'm going through that phase where I got this fire. Yeah, so I be like, you feel me? And yeah. then D Ray be like, Nah, it's cool. But I'm like, hey, but if you, I already be lit enough because in the place he's at, and I don't know much y'all watch Star Wars, but it's, it's as simple as Anakin trying to jump at Obi Wan when he had the higher ground. You're on the Damn, higher ground. Like Star Wars. Like you on, you basically have yeah. the higher. No matter what, you got the higher ground. So yeah, they gotta come. Up you got it. Yeah, nigga, you going down is putting yourself at a disadvantage in that moment. Yeah. No matter anybody, I anybody I give a legit argument with, it gotta be somebody I believe don't want to be in the place I'm at. Say that again. That's crazy. Anybody I give a genuine argument with, mm -hmm. I have to believe you. You don't. You don't want to be in the place I'm at. Yeah. If I think you want to be in the place I'm at, why am I arguing with you? Why am I arguing with you? I definitely don't want to be where you at. Yeah, so exactly. why am I arguing with you? Yeah. Me, if, <laughs> Ye want to be funny. That's my friend. Yep. I know he want to be in the place I'm at. I'm funny with you. I want to be a rap star. We got real arguments. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. like, this is a real argument. That's why I get a little I better with rappers and athletes. athletes. Yeah. I want to be a billionaire. We going to really argue. Yeah. But if I don't want nothing but you, like, if we don't have no confusion, that's why a lot of these verses don't make sense to people because people are like, well, I'm going to rap against you and I heard you do my style three times. I'm going against me. So now I got to prove I'm a better me than you. Right. <laughs> Damn, I'm bro. not gonna do it. So I'm not getting into arguments. I just want to compliment people. I want people to move on and be great and be the greatest you you could be. I have given advice to comics who I think might not. I'm not gonna rock with you. Like we're not gonna sit and, and brainstorm because it's gonna be more of my brain and my storm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I have a joke for you, a tag for you, you got one for me. Sit, talk, chat real quick. Cool. I got that. We both helped each other. That that makes sense. But I can't be, I'm going to argue and sit and talk about anything. I don't know nothing about sports, so I'll argue with you. If you argue with me, you're an you idiot. Right. And I sit and do it all the time. Yeah. I, I, Michael Jordan, the greatest player on earth, but I'm not going to run through his stats because I'm not that great at remembering the stats. But if you're going through stats, you wouldn't argue with me? I won already because you're a complete idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> arguing with you. I'm not arguing about who the greatest top five comics are. You're never going to tell me that Mike Epps ain't top. Top, top, no matter what you try to say about, we're not going to argue because you're not there. You, what are you talking about? I'm watching yeah. you want to be me. Or how you going to tell me about another motherfucker? I know the, the, yeah. You know what and, I'm saying? And, and, and basically, like, beef, not beefing because, like, you know, like, comedy don't oh, be sure. no beef. But, bad. like, you know, like, basically, it's not good for business not seeing eye to eye all the time. Yeah. Just, we're going to, we're, me and, we're going to, I'm learning from you and I'm mm -hmm. listening to y'all, so. You guys got to show me the why. I'm always down. You got to show me the why it works, and I'm with it. So it's not like I don't want to hear your new ideas. I'm going to argue about you what's new or, or who, who should be on Instagram, who TikTok. Show me the why and put it in a way I can understand because until then, I'm, I'm stagnant, right? I'm just – and that ain't how my life moves mm -hmm. at all. Everything is traffic. I'm, I'm used to jumping in that, that – uh, going up the shoulder – you gotta show me why I should get back in the lane and learn how to. Other than that, I'm, I gotta go. So yeah, you show me now, Paul. Like I, I, I come. You show me your talent. We here. We working. Yeah. I'm willing to listen to you. Now I know you're talented. I'm willing to listen to you. Do your jokes and work out shit. And while me and you bantering about bullshit, we dropping the business jewels at the same time. Facts. We talking about the audience at the same time. Talking yeah. about listening. We talking about the cameras. We talking about stuff. And at the same time, you telling me like, Yo, D, why we ain't putting this out every week mm -hmm. on me? We ain't putting this out. I'm like, I wanna be like Prince and put you like, fuck that. Give me the footage, Kevin. Oh, yo, you gave nigga my footage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lewis work here. No, 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 nigga. Hit Lewis up. D, what we doing? So now we gotta move forward on it. Yeah. Now I'm like Mundy Rays. I was I was wrong, he's right, but he made me understand the why. The why yeah. is the other streaming places that I believe, the other streaming comedy shows I believe don't have what we have are doing well. They're doing well. So why we ain't doing great? Right. Exactly. They're doing well. Why I'm letting them why I'm letting them do well, and I'm, we still sitting back. What am I waiting on now for me to be seventy and drop it? Then he's exactly. like, so he's like, let's go. So now we talking about it. now we we doing it. That's all. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, no, it, it makes us. It make a lot of sense though. Just in all the shit though. But I just appreciate you because um, a lot of things from a comedian standpoint, you tell me things that other comedians are scared to tell me, and that's the part I do respect. You know, what I'm saying I think the gift and uh, not the two mile horn, but the gift is being a good comedian is that you know you naturally good. That's the yeah. gift that yeah. you know. <laughs> 
It's certain things you just can't learn. You can watch comedy all day. You can't learn this shit. You feel me? The bad part is though, so it, it gets intimidating when you, when you want advice and you won't get you you know you want information. People are like, oh no, you good. You you know they yeah. don't want to give it to you because if nigga if I get that then it's over. Yeah. You feel me? So I appreciate D Ray just for always um, giving me insight. I'm gonna tell you this before before you leave. You the only reason I roasted Steph Curry. On my on my first comedy special, cause I went to the improv and I practiced, and now I told you what I was practicing for, and I'm like, man, if Steph Curry pull up, should I roast? You like, nigga, what? <laughs> he like, you have to, you have to, you know what I'm saying? So That's I'm like, moment. the greatest shoot of the all time, of shit. Yeah. and you're not gonna the greatest shoot of all time. If, if he invited you to go hoop, you about to go play. You don't care, you can't play. Yeah. You about to go see this? Like, this is the dude. You don't get those moments, man. Yeah. So that's great. And I knew you know how to do it. Exactly. If you were another comic and asked me and I thought you were going to say something crazy, I would have d- directed yeah, you definitely. But I knew you and know how to be, be a player. And would be nervous after. Like, you let that Nigga shit gonna freeze up. He going to look straight yeah, at like, that and be like, how you going to react? And you, you got to imagine. That's just his jump shot. Imagine what that nigga's real shot like. He probably shoots from him. Nigga got angry. Steph Curry probably can shoot you from here yeah. at the crib, make it curve. He the one who the one who curved the bullet and won it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Oh, mama. There's accuracy, man. So. Yeah. But that was a yeah man, them be good moments. But yeah, you gotta, just shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? When I when I'm a little on edge, be cool, and I can trust that because I know. Okay, you know, <laughs> he had a temper at one point. Yeah. So it's not like just he on some that, scary shit. You feel me? He more like on some wise shit. Like nah, you feel and me? And I still try to fight with it often with myself with with with. Because where is it coming from? We still never went and sat and talked to nobody. So all we deal with ourselves, we don't really go get therapy. And when yeah. niggas do, nigga ain't about sitting on the couch and pay you no money. I can sit while niggas barbershop, talk, it out. talk this shit around. You know what I'm saying? See, see something. And it might not be exactly what I want to hear, but you ain't about to tell me something fly either when I get out of here. Because your, your homies let you talk all that shit. Like, but you still finna get the bitch. Like, some, give me some energy on the way out, some fly yeah. shit. You know? Yeah. So... It ain't always about the angry shit, but it's just about the direction of it all. Because if you take certain directions and other things, you want it, that that incident won't happen. Exactly. So if you take the direction of if your demeanor is he on the list, he going up. Somebody come in, and a lot of stuff don't be your responsibility. Exactly. It's the responsibility of the game. Exactly. It's two people supposed to go next, and like we just said, Mike Epps or Mike or one of the big name people come in. I, we all been bumped. Yeah. Like Mike want to. Mike wants to go next, and the question is, do you still want to go after if there's time? Yeah. Oh, that's my last weekend. Okay, that makes sense to me. Yeah. I understand your passion. Yeah. There's Mike. Could, could you please? Just, one second, Mike. He said, "Nigga, got this week." Oh, T. Ray, come. On. Let nigga, you want to get up? Let him get up. But let's do it while we're right here. You're not. We're not finna do the, the. Middle man, middle I'll man, tell you, all that shit. Tell back and forth, yeah. You want to go up? You go ask the headliner. I, I need to get up and get out of here. Or if a dude is, you feel like, and why wouldn't you? This is gonna. I don't. I'm giving people more information. When people show up, I don't know if you notice. I let people just go up. I'm like, I'm not gonna do a lot of time. There. I was gonna do a lot of time today. I was like, no, nah, what's the name here? Blackhead. No, mm-hmm. so I said, let them go. Mm-hmm. Cause I want to see what my niggas. How they hooping right now? How they how their legs working? Yeah. I gotta be on tour with this guy soon. Let me go. Let me see his boxing style. Yeah. Let me Javante this guy. Yeah. Oh, his stomach hurt. Yeah. Oh, his, his, his level is slow. Like, let me Javante that moment and watch a little sparring. I ain't gotta see the whole set. I see the reaction. Like, oh, he ain't, he ain't in his bag. I'm in my bag. I'm in now my I'm bag. not gonna go show my bag. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna chill my bag. Pop it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? So if a great come in, like someone all of the that. Don't need to even be down there. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting down, dog. Oh, I was about to. Oh, I'm. see, I do yeah, good. Got it. But see, I do good with the grace. I just don't do good with <laughs> niggas that's not great. Don't walk in here with this great energy like you're great. You're yeah. not a motherfucking great, nigga. Who the fuck is? But you, see, the nigga? thing that make right. them think they great is that energy from what from their tribes. Mm-hmm. The tribe and, and they're where their tribal where their tribes at the respect level is about. They, I don't. Like we 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 not just we not just hood we smart exactly. so I don't want to come off like we just some hood guys Facts. but we still got a little bit you still got a little bit of the dev jam in you a little bit of the grime well a lot of these dudes they didn't move on it's a lot of comedy central more more of that so they're not yeah. so then in their mind it's that and they come and um and they'll come around us but it's but we got to do that too because we humble ourselves when we walk in these rooms we just don't walk in those rooms like we great but sometimes 
we have that swag we bring in from the we have that Nino Brown about us walking in them rooms. I had it walking in them other rooms, mm -hmm. and I've had moments where it's like I'm never gonna bomb, but I have moments where I'm like, oh, this is why I need to practice all arts. I so see what you saying? Once again, man. I see what you're saying. And once again, it. about people being like, don't even like, even if they add grade, if that's what they need for their confidence. But you know you better. Yeah. That never bothers me. Yeah. That's uh. crazy. I've, I've I've seen that before too. Just going to the Mondays and stuff like that. A great come in and like really. It was ass, like on some shit. You know what I mean? Nigga, they're learning like, again. I can't wait till Luke get back up here. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that, that, dog. It's a, it's a, di it's a dog, different dog. That too. That For too. Real. You know what I mean? No, that's real, dog. That's you like, true. People been in the house too long, man. You ain't hooped out here, dog. I'm yeah, out here every you know day, I mean? man. And that's exactly. why I always go. And that's why you, I challenge myself. You want to go, dog? I'm like, nah, put me last. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if I still. Let me see after all these people with these jokes. Da da da. da so. Yeah. End of the day, man. This this is. Last this is a hundred different conversations. Bottom line is. I'm not gonna say nothing gonna affect you. Things gonna affect you because once again we're human. But end of the day, when it comes to, and I ain't gonna say stay in your lane only deal because man, we we switching. Like everybody doing all kinds of yeah. stuff. Everybody trying to sing and rap. I ain't gonna because I don't want to shit on myself. When he dreams, it might come later after this. Right. Yeah. I might want to be in the horticulture one day, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Not the weed kind. I was about to say we, <laughs> we got farms and shit. Yeah, <laughs> but but just because you're already settled once again dog i would tell you in any instance just don't you don't got to come down especially when you're already you in there you at the crib and they coming in wiping their feet you know what i'm saying yeah facts now yeah. you know what the disrespect is but you, it's like hey man i was gonna put you up but your thing be like you should know and some niggas don't know exactly that's the truth some niggas should know you be like you should know but they don't they be like what do i do and you like some it's as simple as this i walk in the room with four girls mm -hmm. A dude the other day, man, it's simple. Uh, the, the, at, at valet, I'm leaving. I'm leaving valet, and the girls are two girls that work at the, the club, mm -hmm. and my my cousin and another girl, her girlfriend. Yeah, walking. My cousin is a straight up girl, but a, and homie goes, "Damn, you keep bitches," and right there. He didn't know. Yeah. So instead of me being like, the fuck you say? It was, hey, man, I know you ain't used to this. See, that hurt worse. Yeah. Who ain't got no, 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 no. I know you ain't because you wouldn't have dressed it like that. Right. Especially keeping ladies around. And if the woman you be around let you talk like that, then I know we ain't living in the same era. So right. there's no way you can even holler at these women. And there's my cousin who's a police officer. <laughs> who going to blow your brains out over her bitch. Like, but still, but I'm saying, though, it's people don't know what they're doing sometimes, man. Yeah, people don't know what they're doing, and and we have to accept. I have to accept that and address it because of what I've given off before. Because there was a time when D Ray showed up with oh, five six, so I could see where his energy came from. Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. So I have to accept who I am. This yeah. is my big problem with a lot of a lot of shit, dog. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. Women, men. Anything, if you ever stole something before, don't be like, don't bring it when I stole. No, 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 no. You did, you stole some shit, nigga. Yeah. Let's put it. that on the table. Yeah. Now that we both know you a thief, <laughs> how do we move how do forward? Move? Exactly. Yeah, move forward? yeah, but don't ignore the My fact. My girl, dude, dude, I had this conversation. I've been having this conversation. I'm like, I know what I did to make you feel this way. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. But that ain't got nothing. Like, but well, right now, though, I know I did, but right now, that ain't what we talking about. But I'm going to accept that, that I because did that. I did do that. I yeah, was yeah. like that. Yep. So that's the only thing. Long as you, long as when you, and I hope none of this probably gonna make sense to a lot of my fuckers because they, you know, frequency is different for me. But, Thanks. but as long as you, back to what I said at the beginning of, and it, 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 of our, us kicking the cat, kicking back, yeah. is intent is everything with me. Intent is everything from the beginning to the end. Do you intend to hurt me? Did you intend to? Did you intend to make this fucked up like that? Are you walking in here intentionally trying to fuck up or disrupt my show? Because if you're not. Okay, I get it. But if you are, tell me, let's get to it then. Let's get to it. That's that's, that's game. It. Hey, look. That's game. When you see my look, like when you see a little shorty, when you, when you see a little shorty, you see a little shorty at the bar, you just macking it. You being yourself. Do you know you don't know it's my bitch? You ain't no intentions of exactly. taking your bitch. Exactly. Now if you seen me with her and then you slip to the bar. Hey, yeah. mama, nigga. Yeah. Okay, come on, let's get to it. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Let's, let's get to the reason. To that's it. But for the most part, when they come down there and see you, they trying to get to where you at, not get to it. 
Yeah, and I got to know that in life. And I keep sending them to you on purpose. Every time they ask me about bookings now. Your host is right over there. Yeah. Danny's right over there. I have no idea how they book it. You know, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> All the times I've been to, to improv on Mondays, I, you know, I peep Lou Holo, you know, Stilo. That nigga do that shit with no ego, bro. You do that shit with no ego. You know what I mean? And I feel who, like who don't have no ego? Look, look, the way that he managed things, you know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers come in and kind Oh, of, I thought he has been on stage. That no, nigga. Oh, yeah, my ego stage. big on stage. Oh, he, he big on yeah. stage, yeah. of course. What the fuck you talking about? He always, but just like, you know, just how- well, I had a devil walk in here talking loud like that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever gonna sit down like, wait, wait a minute, what, what's going on? <laughs> no, oh, no, I know what you mean. You yeah. mean like, he ain't shitting on people, but if you come to him respectfully, he listen, but that's why, that's why. But I also left it for the firm hand of, the way I ran it still had that, he has a chance to run it the way I run it without having an asshole stint. Yeah. And that's what you've been yeah. trying to save me yeah. from that. Yeah. From I have an asshole stint because I had to do everything and no one knew the work going into it. He don't have to do everything, but I want him to do the work exactly. yeah. and get it to the point where it's, you know what I'm saying? Where they understand it's just, hey, this is just how it works. And if I went somewhere else, this is what I do for you. I don't have to do what you did. Yeah. That's the problem people have Yeah. with everything. If I had to do what you had to do, I'd do it. But I don't because I did something else. What's your other thing to make you not have to talk to Lewis? Huh. I don't want to go ask Lewis. But nigga, go get a special. Go blow the fucking room up so hard, your shit buzzing. Then when you walk up to Lewis, nigga, they like, Lou, this such and such. Yeah. Mm. When I walked in the room, when I got to the place I went to, after my name had buzzed, with no TV, no nothing, they was like, that's D-Ray. And I'm sitting back like, yeah. I'm him. I'm in. See, they're going to do it all new. Oh, they that's already me. called about you. Yeah. They already called about you. I get texts about, dude, this dude funny, and I'll put it in the group chat via such and such. If the person suck, I put the tag. This is this, this yeah, this person, <laughs> this person, person. <laughs> referred him because it's yeah. on you. But the confidence, as far as like, man, that's you can't you. Somebody coming in, bottom line, there's steps to take unless you took other steps. Bottom line, yeah, yeah. Improv is popping, man. Yeah. Monday's crazy. It's some flat, it's some flat Every shit. Monday, if you want to, if you want to, and if you want to do it, if you want to do it, you know the way to go about it. And if you don't want to go about it that way, man, do man, independent route, master P that shit. Yeah. yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, I gotta let you, I, man. We gotta let you through the door because ain't no way I go. Where I feel like, and the, and there's some places I go. By the way, there's yeah. some. I, I've never done the comedy cellar. I believe probably one time in New York. If I went, there's no one for me to call. So you know what I'll do? Uh -huh. D-Ray Davis, you know what D-Ray Davis do? I'll go down there and I'll say, hey, how do how does a comedian get on? If they happen to go, are you a comedian? I'll go, yeah, damn it, person one, that's one step. You yeah. get to the next person, what if they go, the fuck is this? He's a comedian, at all. I've never seen him. you never seen me, sir, I understand that. So from you, from this point on, what would be my step? Yeah. Uh, step on stage. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait. Now them steps are passed. Now yeah. I show up. My pen's out. Yeah. It's for the sign-up sheet and the autograph. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I would go to the comedy store every week. I'd be like, who you got up here? What y'all doing poetry? I didn't even see the list yet. It's talking shit. You don't even know who it is. I don't care. Put me last. Comedy. Yeah. Laugh Factory. Ask Pookie. Put me last. I don't give a fuck who it is. So they, I can talk my shit. What you doing, D-Ray? The greatest comedy show y'all gonna see tonight? Yeah. I just talk like that all the time. Yeah. Shut up, man. You guys gotta talk that? Well, well, all right, let's see if I do it or not. Yeah. Want to bet $100? Uh, man, yeah. fuck you, nigga. Of course. Yeah. yeah you, got <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really believe in yourself. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> nah, uh, for, for real. You gotta stand on it. You gotta stand, stand on, on it. We talked about a band, yeah. three uh, uh, comedically biblical things. Yeah, this is a real like, comedian you know episode saying? right here. Yeah. This is a real uh, comedian episode. We get to the funny shit sure. next but time. But we, 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 need, we need it that though. You understand me? Yeah, yeah man. Bro. We you, never talk about comedy on this podcast. And you applied the pressure too, nigga, because you was like, you said, motherfucker ain't never seen us together, nigga. Like I was a bad stepdad. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm like, people don't know we know each other. We be talking in real life. And I said, what? Nigga, yeah. I know your mama, your daddy, they most comfortable when I'm yeah. here. Nigga, I got somebody age around them and shit. I got a lot of relationships like that. People be not, because I'm not, I'll be more about the relationship and not the pick. 
Yeah. But I got. But like, he showed applied that pressure though. The nigga yeah, was like, "You ain't like, nobody yeah, sitting up yeah, together, nigga. nigga. You ain't. Nigga, you ain't even claiming me out here. Yeah, I was like, nigga, you ain't pulled up to the motherfucking thug mansion, Cali kickback. You understand yeah. me? We ain't chop gang. You understand yeah. me? So I appreciate you, man. I probably got to. I forgot to know. Weed, nigga. We, yeah. we definitely just did. That, you got anything though. you want to promote before you get up out of here, man? Mondays. Mm. Come on a Monday, man. Everything else gonna promote itself. Y'all know I be out and about. If you care, you be on my Instagram. If you don't care, you won't be. And if you're smart, y'all listen to something in here and mm. treat all this conversation like food. Take the the nutrients out and just shit out the rest. Mm. And if and they don't and they don't know, you feel me? Monday at the Hollywood Improv, you understand me? Pull up, you know, every Monday, you understand me? You guarantee. And, and he got two movies on the way too. It's impossible. Yeah, production. yeah, two movies they are. Yeah. Damn, I do have two movies on yeah, the way. Yeah, you do. <laughs> My fault, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. Millie, Appreciate you got anything it. you want to say, Wayne? Nah, man. Hey, look, it's been an honor, you know, being with a great, you know. Yeah, man, I, y'all got me out here hanging with you light-skinned niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. you light-skinned, too. We I'm was brown. Earlier too. I'm brown. Yeah, sometimes we say and, that, and Around us, you might be a little brown. They around, them <laughs> yeah. light, around them dark niggas, you light-skinned. Oh. Oh. light-skinned nigga. You oh. fluctuate. Yeah. I'm in yeah. the middle. You fluctuate I'm between the niggas. I'm brown, man. Pick a side, nigga. Hey, I, I, I do the hand test. Like, nigga, let's see, nigga. <laughs> oh, mama. Yeah, nah, it's the hey, Kelly kickback, follow man. Follow me on Instagram, Jamal True Love, man. You know, you know the rest. Oh, yeah. Yes, that means Lewis Belt, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. D-Ray Davis. Yep. We in this thing. At D-Ray Davis. Peace. We gone. Yep.